Welcome to our channel. Cuba is engulfed in protests and we decided to tell who is at the helm of this country. Will he be able to rectify the situation, or will the island be swallowed up by a civil war? Miguel Diaz Canel is a Cuban politician serving as the president of Cuba since 2019 and as the first secretary of the Communist Party since 2021. He was previously president of the Council of State of Cuba from 2018 to 2019 and first vice president from 2013 to 2018. Miguel Diaz Canel was selected to succeed Raul Castro as the candidate for President of the Council of State and the Council of Ministers on 18 April 2018 and was sworn into office the following day after the National Assembly voted for his nomination. His two predecessors in the role were brothers by blood, notably, Diaz Canel's succession, following Raul Castro, represents a non-dynastic form of succession for the Communist Party as well as for the Republic of Cuba. Diaz Canel is the first president to not be a Castro family member since Osvaldo Dorticos in 1976 and the first leader of the government who is not a Castro since José Miro Cardona in 1959. He succeeded Raúl Castro, brother of Fidel Castro, as the first secretary of the Communist Party of Cuba on 19 April 2021 marking the end of the Castro era in Cuba. Miguel Mario Diaz Canel Bermudez was born on 20 April 1960 in Placidas, Villa Clara, to Ida Bermudez, a schoolteacher, and Miguel Diaz Canel, a mechanical plant worker in Santa Clara. He is of direct paternal Spanish, Asturian, descent. His great-grandfather Ramon Diaz Canel left Castropol, Asturias, Spain, for Havana in the late 19th century. Miguel graduated from Central University of Las Villas in 1982 as an electronics engineer and thereupon joined the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. Beginning in April 1985, he taught engineering at his alma mater. In 1987, Diaz Canel completed an international mission in Nicaragua as first secretary of the Young Communist League of Villa Clara. In 1993, Diaz Canel started work with the Communist Party of Cuba and a year later was elected first secretary of the Provincial Party Committee of Villa Clara Province, a top position higher than a governor. He gained a reputation for competence in this post, during which time he also championed LGBT rights at a time when many in the province frowned upon homosexuality. In 2003, he was elected to the same position in Olguin Province. In the same year, he was co-opted as a member of the Politburo of the Communist Party of Cuba. Miguel Diaz Canel was appointed Minister of Higher Education in May 2009, a position that he held until the 22nd of March 2012, when he became Vice President of the Council of Ministers, Deputy Prime Minister. In 2013 he additionally became First Vice President of the Council of State. As First Vice President of the Council of State, Diaz Canel acted as Deputy to the President, Raul Castro. In 2018, the 86-year-old Castro stepped down from the presidency, though he retained the most powerful position of first secretary of the Communist Party of Cuba and the commander-in-chief of the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. On 18 April 2018, Diaz Canel was selected as the only candidate to succeed Castro as president. He was confirmed by a vote of the National Assembly on 19 April and sworn in on the same day. Miguel is a party technocrat who was little known to the public before becoming president. Policy experts expected that he would pursue cautious reform of his predecessor's communist economic policies, while preserving the country's social structure. He is the first president born after the 1959 Cuban Revolution and the first since 1976 not to be a member of the Castro family. He received a visit from Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro just two days after his inauguration. He met with Maduro again in May 2018 in Caracas, during his first official foreign visit as head of state. In his first multinational political trip since becoming president, Diaz Canel traveled in November 2018 to visit all of Cuba's Eurasian allies. Diplomatic meetings were held in Russia, North Korea, China, Vietnam, and Laos. Brief stopovers in the United Kingdom and France also included meetings with British parliamentarians and French leaders. In March 2019, Miguel Diaz Canel and his wife hosted Charles, Prince of Wales and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall in Havana as the first British royals to visit the island. In October 2019, Diaz Canel became the President of the Republic of Cuba, an office that was recreated that February after a series of constitutional reforms were approved in a constitutional referendum. This office replaced the one he had held since April of the previous year, which was the President of the Council of State, which was previously the Head of State of Cuba.
The position of President of the Council of State became a less important position and is now carried out by Esteban Lazo Hernandez in his authority as the President of the National Assembly of People's Power. Miguel Diaz Canel's reforms among other things, limited the presidency to two consecutive five-year terms and banned discrimination based on disability, gender, gender identity, race or sexual orientation. On 19 April 2021, Miguel Diaz Canel officially became the first secretary of the Communist Party, the most powerful position in one party ruling Cuba, following the resignation of Raul Castro. He is the first non-Castro to be in such position since the Cuban Revolution of 1959. BBC News stated that Diaz Canel is loyal to the Castro's ideologies. In 2020, Cuba's economy shrank by 11% due to COVID-19 and increased restrictions, part of the continuing United States imposed embargo. Diaz Canel has two children with his first wife, Martha. He currently resides with his second wife, Lee Cuesta. On 23 March 2021, Diaz Canel obtained a PhD in Technical Sciences, defending a thesis entitled, Government Management System Based on Science and Innovation for Sustainable Development in Cuba. The last two years, the Cuban economy has been in crisis, the country's authorities blame the current situation on the US sanctions and the coronavirus pandemic, their critics are incompetent officials in the one-party system of governing the country on the Soviet model. Tourism was practically closed in the country, other incomes from foreigners decreased, while Cuba depends on imports of the main part of food, fuel and resources for agriculture and manufacturing. In 2020, the country's economy fell by 10.9%, in June 2021 by 2%. Unsurprisingly, it is now that anti-state protests have erupted in Cuba for the first time in 30 years. A state of emergency has been declared on the island. After the robberies of shops and clashes between opponents and supporters of the current government, attacks by pogromists on law enforcement officers that began on July 11, when a record number of COVID-19 cases were registered in the country, troops and additional security forces were sent to Havana to ensure public order. Law enforcement vehicles armed with machine guns appeared on the city streets. Cuban President Miguel Diaz Canel, who also heads the ruling Communist Party, said the United States and its local hirelings were behind the unrest in Cuba. We call on all revolutionaries in the country, all communists, to take to the streets wherever there are attempts to carry out these provocations, said the Cuban leader, speaking on the radio. Is this the beginning of the end? That's all for now. If you liked the video, like it, subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be the first to know about the release of the new video.